Hey guys, it's me Danielle back with another YouTube video and this one's really exciting because this will be my first like lock style video. I don't know, do I have a lock style video? I think I have like a lock style video of what I did when I first started. So like um, three styles you can do on your starter locks, which I might link here somewhere. Um, yeah, so I guess this will be my first lock style video with like having these babies here, these uh, short slash yeah, these short locks. So I'm super excited because we're gonna be featuring this super cool product that my mom put me onto. And this will be my very first um, time putting them in. So you're getting my first impressions of this product. So let's get into it. So the style I'm going for is that I'm going to be curling my locks. So what I will be using are these things here and they are called lock loops so i have a little card here um it says lock loops the curlers that lock into place give yourself beautiful bouncy curls with lock loops works on all types of hair contains 30 standard size lock loops and then it has like their information which is like www.lockloops.com and it has like i guess the instructions here so i'm gonna read them uh how they work step one pot your hair off into several small sections and lightly spritz with water or a setting lotion i don't have that um take the first section of hair and wrap it around one lock loop beginning at the ends working way up with the scalp keep in mind though more hair you won't each lock the bigger your curl will be if you want smaller curls use less curl hair for your curler point the pointed end of the lock loop into the hole at the opposite ends until it locks into place Repeat steps one and two on all your hairs. Um, so I don't want to test my hair with water or the setting motion because then it'll take forever to dry because I'm trying to take these out tomorrow for church. So this will be me using them on dry hair, which now I feel would be a terrible idea. You know what? You know what? Could I use my leave-in conditioner? I can use my leave-in conditioner, right? Okay, so we'll be using these lock loops and I'm gonna use my leave-in conditioner as like my setting lotion. Let's, wait, I'm sorry, I'm so conflicted, y'all. Like, would 30 be enough for my hair? These, these are honest first impression questions here. I'm gonna go get my leave-in conditioner. <laughs> so I'm back and I've got my leave-in conditioner and some scrunchies to help me like separate my hair. And I guess, I'll show you like what these loop locks actually look like. Um, so I think they come like, these are what they look like. And they come in like a sheet. And I think you just like pop them off because I think that's what my mom did because she used them before. So I'm just gonna go for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in some leave-in into my hair. That was 10, uh, 10 spritzes. Let's get it in there. And as you know, this is the lemongrass, Ali, Ali K Nachos lemongrass leave-in conditioner. So I just smell like lemongrass right now, which smells so good. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit more in my hair. Now I'm kind of focusing on the ends of my hair. And yeah. Uh, if I'm not looking at the camera, just know I'm looking into my mirror so I can like see what I'm doing. So yeah. Whew. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to get like the residue off my hands. Uh, okay. Let's start this. Um, so let me section off my hair. I'll just put the top half up and then split the bottom half into like its own section. I'm trying to like think like how I'm gonna like separate it in my head because I don't have like a good game plan. Yeah, this is like honestly my for real, for real first impressions. Okay. I think I'm gonna like try to make sections of three. Yeah, so sections of three. So this back section that I've sectioned off, I'll split this into three 
and now keep doing that. Yeah. Okay. Let's just let's just say that's what I'm doing. I don't know if it is. If, I don't know if this is making sense. But yeah. And my hair is like not wet at all. It's not even damp. Like it. It's just. Let's just say it's just moisturized from when I put in my leave-in conditioner. It does. Like the instructions did say like don't use it on wet or soaked hair since that'll just take like way longer to dry. So I guess you should make note of that. So again, this is what the loop lock, the lock loop looks like. Um, and I'm trying to use like the visual aids they have here. So it looks like you wrap your hair around it and then you like put it like this to, to lock it. Did y'all see that? Okay. I'm gonna go for it. So three, Well, now this feels like too much hair for this. Ugh. I lied. Let's do this much. Yeah, this much. And let me try to put it on here. So it's set to start from ends to your roots. So I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to think like maybe it's like putting how you would put your loose natural hair into a perm rod. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm looping. Ah, oh, I think. So did y'all see that? So I have it like this. And then I'm gonna tuck it in there. And one came out. Okay, so what do I do with that? This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I do. I do not have high hopes for this. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it a buck with you. This is a workout. Yeah, this is a workout. Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do it from front to back, so it's easier for you guys to see it. So, have my hair in half. So add this up, just put that up. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna start on this half. And I guess I'll section off like this front part here. That looks to be good, right? Cause like, I'm trying to like ration it off cause I only have 30. I only have 30 of these, so I'm trying to make sure that I can use it on all of the head. So, let me take this section. Cause I would want, I would want the smaller curls to be at the top and then at the back is like looser. I could work with that, so. And I do think that not the, how like my parts were set up, my locks are smaller at the top. So this should work out. So I'm stretching my locks out and then I'm going to wrap my ends around it like this. So it's just wrapped around and then I'm just gonna continue to work up. Work it, wrap it around this lock thing until it gets to here. So it's, so it's kind of like when you have perm rods and then you just tuck this part into the loop here. You see that? I'm just tucking it in. Ugh, yeah, I hope this is making sense to y'all. Okay. <laughs> um, sure, we're gonna say this makes sense. So it's like this. I really hope this comes out good because I'm going to a wedding in two weeks and I have no idea what I'm about to do with my hair. So, yeah. So again, I'm gonna take this, put it in the middle of the lock loop, wrap my ends around it, and then roll it around. Yeah, this is exactly like a perm rod. The only thing is, I guess since it's like styrofoam, it is a little more like flexible because I don't know if like you've ever tried like sleepy on pearl rods 
because that stuff hurts because it's so hard. Oh, so this one was a little tighter. I don't know what I did differently though. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to buy more of these because I don't think 30 can fit my whole head. So last time, wrap the ends around it. Um, roll it around it and then wrap and tuck. So um, I've done three so far. And what are my thoughts on it so far? I truly have no idea how this is gonna turn out and I feel like I'm going to be disappointed and I'm going to be mad. So <laughs> I'm going to try to do the rest of my hair and y'all, oof, I, ho I hope this comes out okay. Okay, that's all I want, all I want is for it to be okay. And so this part of the video, I'll just speed it up for you guys. so I don't know how I feel <laughs> I don't know how I feel so I finished and it was actually really quick so here's the thing um, it's it is um 650 and I'm like very tired because I had like a really big day yesterday so I'm like very tired so I was kind of like rushing through it um so I do feel like I went fast and I wasn't really as meticulous as I could have been so um Things that concern me, the fact that it was done on dry locks, where they do, rec which they do recommend. But since I'm gonna be taking out like tomorrow morning, like I don't know like how much curl I'm gonna get. So I guess we'll wait to find that out. Um, and the fact that I only had 30 loops, so, so I wasn't sure like how much could fill my head. So I did like relatively like medium sections. Um, and I have like five left. Um, so I do feel like I could get another pack and that would feel better and I would do smaller sections so it would be like a tighter curl. Um, one thing I did realize and I literally realized this like in the last like five locks I did. So you know how like you curl it by like um, taking the loop, wrapping the hair around this and then you tie it in like this. I realized that like you, you actually have to like do it tight so you pull it all the way through until you can't anymore like i hope that made sense so it's like to get it as tight as possible so that the curl would be tight um so yeah we yeah we'll see how these come out yes we will i would say though like if i could figure out how to do this style like without the actual lock loops like getting them getting the locks to curl up with these little like uh pinwheels because i think that style is like so cute so that would be something that would be cute to try um yeah that's what that's it <laughs> so i'm gonna sleep and then take these out tomorrow and then i'll come back to film that for you guys yeah peace hey guys so it's the next morning since i put in these loop blocks and now i'm gonna take them out um it wasn't um crazy hard to sleep on it uh like they're like they're like a foam type texture so it's not like that hard uh, material like the perm rods which are like held to sleep on so i slept relatively well the only thing is that like your head may be levitated <laughs> over your pillow, pillow a little bit because of this um but all in all i would say my sleep comfortability was like a four out of five so yeah it's really not at all bad to sleep on granted this is me with the like i use 25 of these so this is only with 25 in my head. So maybe if I use more, maybe I would feel a little uncomfortable. But as far as for this try, I was perfectly fine sleeping on them. So now I'm gonna take them out. I mean, I see like one already came out and it's probably cause like I put them in kind of sloppily. 
So I hope like the rest of these, you know, something curls. <laughs> so let's just do that. So I'm gonna start, I guess in the back, you know, to see what it is. So I guess you just pull them out like that and unwrap them. It. You see, you see that? Ridiculous. I hope, I hope at least, yeah, yeah, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> like I said yesterday, I don't know. Like I don't know. Oh, and I'm sorry if my voice sounds crazy like that. That's just like how I always sound in the morning. I am not, I am not a morning person <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what we're doing. Like, maybe you need to keep these in for longer than a night. <laughs> like, it's kind of just looking like I have a roller set in. Like, I just did a young roller set on my locks. But then again, I don't know exactly what I was expecting. Um, yeah, I don't know if I said this in yesterday's video, but it only took me like 30, 35 minutes to do this style, so. This does not take long at all. Though this is me talking about it with my short hair, so I don't know how long it would take or if it would take longer. If you had longer hair, oh, okay, so this, okay, so this is kind of a curl, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't know how long it will take if you have longer hair. Uh, I would say it's annoying to wash your hair while these are in because you can't get like all up here in your burners. So that's annoying. But um, all in all, like, yeah, I wouldn't say this is a bad um, styling tool at all. Like, I feel like I would be okay to do this like every other day. Like, it really does not take at all that long. Okay, okay. One thing I will notice. So at the top, I think I use smaller sections. And I may have tied them tighter, so that could be something. We'll see. One thing I know for sure is that these curls are about to disappear in like an hour. <laughs> like these curls are not staying. Not staying at all. So you definitely want to use small sections and roll it as tight, as tight as possible. One thing I do not miss about being a loose natural is like, like having it to your hair all the time. Cause I was somebody who style, who style my own, um, my natural hair. Like I would put in all those damn perm rods to do those perm rod sets or those twist and curls or those braid outs with like the perm rods at the end. Like I was, I was in it. So I was spend like hours on my feet, having my hands up in my hair. So yeah. Okay. So this is what it looks like when I just take it out of the, um, other things um i will say the idea is cute <laughs> the idea is really cute the execution however um not so much so i'm gonna do a young 360 for you guys Yeah, hold on, I gotta take a picture because my mom told me to take a picture. <sighs> yeah, I don't like, like I am, yeah, okay, so I like, again, like I said, I like the idea of the curl, but I don't, mm, this is just messy. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, this is just. Like, I'm scared that, like, when I separate it, yeah, like, I feel like when I separate it, it's just gonna 
come out. Like, do you know what I mean? Like the curls are just gonna drop earlier than, oh, one more. Are just gonna drop earlier than I would want, even though I'm telling y'all, it's these are gonna drop in like an hour. So I don't wanna do it, but I, I'm not going out like this. So I'm gonna, I guess, rake my hands through it. Drop, instant drop. Well, <laughs> at least you have a little wave, a little wave to it. Mm -mm, I don't like this, he's sticking out. Y'all see that? I don't like this. <sighs> oh, it was okay. Wait, wait. So I have a little like bump and curl at the bottom that I guess is cute or whatever. No, okay, no. Okay, like, so I'm trying to like see if I could like position it a certain way. Okay, doing too much. If I could position it a certain way. Because right now it just looks like when you would leave like your hair in like a ponytail and take it up the night before and it's like stuck in that position. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess I'll just leave it like this, huh? Yeah, damn it. I'm trying to like see if I could like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it's not. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I think for sure things to note for next time: smaller sections make them way tighter, um, and be mindful of the direction I'm rolling them in, because I think I rolled them out, which is why it looks like it's flipping out. Whereas if I rolled it like in, it would have like hooked this way. Uh, I hope I'm making sense. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, so I guess I'll just <laughs> I'll just like put them in a drop. <laughs> so um, yeah, this was fun. <laughs> Babies first, you know, a lot curl style. Um, and again, I use those loop locks that I showed earlier in the video. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, it did turn out as I guess we would have hoped. But let me know what y'all think below in the comment section. Or if you guys have used this tool before. Um, or if you know like how to make it better. Um, yeah, just leave all that below in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.